Yo, what up? I'm back at you. Yes, we about to get into Black and Crew Chicago. Yes. You know, I missed the other week or whatever when the whole Jamaica thing and everything had first transpired and stuff. And I'm a little bit tired right now, but I'm going to go ahead and give it to you and everything. How y'all doing, family? I'm doing pretty good. I can't complain. I'm about to take myself to work in a little bit, and it's going to be all good. I hope y'all enjoy y'all's work week whenever it starts and all that good stuff. If it's your first time tuning into My Car TV, welcome to the channel. Hit the subscribe, the like, and the share button, and feel free to comment as to what else Boom, let's get up into this whole dang on episode of uh, Black Ink Crew. Yes, yeah, so we start this thing off, you know, let me say this right here. Lily, you wrong as fuck. Let's just go ahead and put it out there. You was wrong as fuck. You should have never went over there and attacked dang on Junior like that in Jamaica at that little block party. Like, that. that's what set the whole thing off. But Junior, you and Lily, y'all two just need to go ahead and hash it out and fuck or whatever y'all need to do, a little farewell fuck or something because... You know, y'all up here creating all this drama and stuff, and y'all on Instagram and everything going back and forth beefing. Like, that was uncalled for. And, Junior, you, I will say that you did instigate that situation or whatever by saying, you know what I'm saying, fuck Loyal Inc. or whatever. But, literally, you got to, you got to be bigger than that. Come on now. You've been attacking people this whole dang on season. You know, just go ahead and be straight up. You've been on your whole little attack mode. You've been real, like, predator type shit. And I'm just like, girl, you don't take all that or whatever. You know, sticks and stones, boo. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words won't hurt you or whatever. So, but I think what it was, Lily was jealous because she seen the new boo over there or whatever. And you got, dang on Junior sitting right there. She still got the hots for him. And just all that with that dang on, you know, juice in your system. That dang on talk shit, juice that petty juice, everything. It just all came to this whole culmination. And, uh, Junior, you was wrong as hell for hitting Reese. I don't give a damn what situation that you in. You don't ever hit no damn female or whatnot. For real, for real. You might can restrain they ass, but you don't hit no damn female or whatever. You don't argue with no female. You don't hit no damn female. Period. Okay? That's just it. You know, that, that, that just whole situation was crazy. But, Lily, you got your lip popped. Or whatnot, dang on the girlfriend jumped on you or whatever, and, and Reese got her jaw swole up. They get back to the dang on little house. Damn, Junior still on a level damn thousand. He going after people, pushing over security and stuff. They get ready to take him to a hotel. He ain't having it or whatever. He goes and dang on pops down Ryan in the motherfucking jaw while he trying to defuse the whole situation. See, Ryan, you know, you know, I don't even feel sorry for you because somebody need to hit your ass. Even though it's a damn mistake, you know, somebody need to hit your old punk ass or whatever because you want some bullshit this whole damn season right here. And I really used to like you a lot, you know, but you, you pulling some fuck shit, especially after this damn episode right here, you know. And you don't ever get in the damn line of fire whenever people in the middle of a damn fight or a drunk person like that right there. You, you know... You kind of stay out the way or whatever, but you all in the heart of shit, mm -mm. you know, I don't be feeling no sympathy, sympathy for people that be down breaking up fights and stuff and be getting their ass uh, molly whopped in the process. I don't. Because I'm the type of like, no, I'm not about to get into that. No, because I done been one of them people like, uh-uh, I done got hit inadvertently and I ain't got time, bitch. No. Anywho. So, um, they end up getting him up at the house, Junior, because he going crazy or whatnot. They sent his ass all the way back to damn Chicago because he just, you know, off the chain at this point in time. Meanwhile, they ain't going to force over the situation because he still got his whole thing with London on the track. And I already knew when they had that fight and stuff, and this was supposed to be the whole prelude to, uh, Forrest, um concert or whatever, I knew that they was going to cancel his motherfucking shit. Period. I knew something was going to happen because he was right there or whatever, right there in the heart of the shit. And they they be seeing who you pull up with. I mean, hell, it was y'all was on an open dirt road, period. So, you know, he's just like, okay, I need to dang on get with London. I got a lot of work to do. This too much drama. I didn't come down here for this. And for you knew what the fuck you was doing. You should have never dang on invited them fools or whatever. Yo, you already know. Whenever you told them, they was going to turn that into a trip or whatever. Or production was going to turn it into a trip. And it was going to be some fuck shit. So you, you knew what you were signing up for. And then the fact that you would be knowing you was going down there with Ryan. And you would tell your crew at Loyal Inc. what was going on. It was a recipe for disaster. 
the, like I say, it was a whole setup for for fucking failure. Anywho, Bella, she finally wakes up or whatever. I done went on this whole little tyrant. I've been out of the loop for a couple of weeks. Fuck that. I had to get that out. Bella wakes up because, you know, she was pissy drunk in the car or whatever. Like, okay, what happened? Like, you know, did we even go anywhere? She didn't even know that they had left or whatnot because she been asleep for damn near 24 hours or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, damn, you done pulled one of my numbers or whatever. Like that whole birthday story I told y'all about. When I get fucked up, I get fucked up or whatever. And I'd be like, okay, what happened? Tell me. Because I was uh, knocked the fuck out. <laughs> so Ryan's sitting there telling like, okay, you don't know what the hell happened. Meanwhile, he got ice on his dang on jaw because his shit is on swole. Whatever, because Junior done fucked him up. And, um... You know, they just kind of having this whole conversation at Loyal Inc. Reese is over there with um, fucked up jaw too. She got ice on her shit. And they ain't going, um, you know, Lily, she had pretend about, like, you know, Junior's out here to get me. No, girl, you out to get Junior because last thing I checked, you went over there and attacked his ass. He didn't attack you. You was over there uh, on your high horse or whatever. You went and ran and attacked him, period. Like, come on now, talking about you had no intentions of fighting. But that was that was the main thing you went over there and did. You ran up on the motherfucker, which started the whole day of debacle. Come on now, let's be serious. Anywho, they back at the other house. Ryan is explaining to Bella or whatever, and she's kind of like, girl, I mean, boy, I'm glad I'm damn asleep. You know, I was asleep because I ain't, I ain't want to be having no parts to that or whatever. And that sounds like a whole bunch of trauma. And I'm like, girl, yeah, well, sometimes it's best to be asleep. Anywho, um, Don is back at the other house. He's like, okay, yo, let's just have a good time. We're here to support my brother. Let's not have no other stuff going on. Meanwhile, you got four. He's over with London on the track. They in the studio getting his uh, tracks and everything together. He's over the whole situation. And, uh, you know, he's still giving dry ass raps or whatever in the studio. Because for me, he won't get me hype from what they was playing. Maybe that wasn't the actual beat or whatever. Because you know how they like to play other stuff. But I'm like, that... It won't get me hype what you was doing. I would have thought that you would have been a little bit more intense, especially after all the positivity that you claimed that you was going through. Anywho, so, um, you know, anywho, oh, that's my damn alarm. Shit, it's about time to take my ass to work. So, anywho, dang on, um, hold on, let me get back on track. So, yeah, he's uh, pretty much thinking about going straight to L.A. and not even coming back to dang on Chicago but to get his stuff because he really wants to pursue, pursue his whole career in rap or whatever. So, anywho, let's move along. Uh, Loyal Inc., they over at the beach party uh, that was set up and now Mag ends up showing up or whatever. So, this is, I guess, another promo situation for... Uh, the concert that's going on and everything. Four goes down and does the right thing, which is to try to defuse the situation and try to talk to, you know, his uh, brother and everybody over there at Loyal Inc. And see what's going on. So Four pulls Don and Ashley to the side, and he's just explaining how he felt hurt by looking at his brother on the other side, and he felt like they was on against each other, and that's, that's not what re he really wants. Because, you know, Don and Four, they actually got a really good relationship or whatnot. For real, for real. So, uh, London comes up, or whatever. And uh, London looking pissed like hell. He like, okay, look, dude. What the hell happened the other day? Like, you know, the people, they sing you out there. And uh, pretty much, they don't want you, they don't want you performing. So, Forrest pissed off at this point. He like, dude, what's really going on? He like, dude, they don't want you performing. Keep that shit in motherfucking Chicago. Don't bring that drama shit over here. So, at this point, he pissed the hell off. Dang gone. Ford goes and approaches the damn group like, y'all messed up this whole deal for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm done with y'all. Y'all need to get y'all shit together and everything. So, at this point right here, you know, Lily yells out, it ain't my fault. And I'm like, bitch, a hit dog a holler. Because ain't nobody even said it was your damn fault. But, but the fact that you even said something, yeah, a hit dog will motherfucking holler or whatever. So, you know, Ford's really trying to figure out what this whole beef is and everything is about. You know, he like, y'all need to figure that shit out. He throws a drink on them as he's walking out. Anywho, Don pulls Ryan to the side like, dude, we need to squash our lids. Let's try and have a dinner and stuff together and pull this whole, you know, beef, you know, together and pull it to the side. Anywho, dang on. 
Well, let's move along, dang on. Loyal Inc., they, they pissed off because they're like, okay, for blaming us for his whole thing or whatnot. But I'm like, you know, y'all did get out the damn van, turn all the way up. At least Lily did. So it is partially y'all's fault, to be honest with you. Come on now. Let's stop. Let's just be honest with you. You know, y'all brought y'all unprofessional asses down there to Jamaica and y'all was ready to turn up and y'all never really about business whenever y'all go on these quote-unquote business trips, okay? Anyhow, dang on, um, so they back at the house. They throwing a pool party and everything. They having this whole topless situation. Van feeling really good because he like, I'm single as hell. Me and Jen ain't together. So, anywho, who shows the hell up? Jen arrives in the damn van or whatever. And she did a surprise her man because Nikki done gave her the address and everything. And um, she walks in and immediately she goes and she sees Reese on top of um, Van's neck. Uh, with her damn top down and all this stuff. So what does she do? She jumps up in the dang on pool and starts attacking him and shit. Whatever. You know, um, uh, they dang on go off to the side, these two, and had a nice little conversation. And they pretty much make up and all that. Like, you know, we, I apologize, you know, and Van's like, you know, we done been through a lot or whatever. They end up kissing each other and making up and everything like that. So they back together. But on, let's move along, dang on. The ladies get ready to go shopping or whatever out at the market and everything. At this point, they in the van and Danielle starts having this whole panic attack and starts hyperventilating and all this. They take her to the medic. They give her a, a paper bag so that she can rebreathe the CO2 in her system or whatnot so that she can um, stay, have that, maintain that homeostasis. At the, uh, in the meantime, Charmaine goes with her back home and the other ladies go out shopping or whatever. Boom, let's move along. Dang on. Don plans this nice little beach date with Ashley. And um, they pretty much working on their whole little friendship or whatever. So this is actually a good time for them because Ashley's like, okay, this is nice and romantic and stuff. And then they like smiling and laughing the whole time, which is cute because you don't really get to see these two uh, doing nothing but arguing most of the dang on time. Like, for real, for real. So, um... Ashley just like, you know, I can't get over this whole Snapchat video with Tasha and everything. And uh, Don's like, look, stop right there. You know, she ain't even pregnant and everything. And, um, you know, he, he, at this point, he goes back to blaming Snapchat for his, you know, his faults. And I'm like, Snapchat couldn't have caught a motherfucking thing if you wouldn't have been in the act of doing it, okay? Anywho, Ashley, she just wants to move forward, and um, they just really want to maintain that nice little friendship, you know, and just stay in that nice little sweet space, which is what they need to do or whatever, because y'all got a family. You can tell y'all really do love each other, despite Don's fuck-ups. Ashley, you know you ain't going to motherfucking work, girl. You just go ahead and sit the fact that you got a cheating man, bitch, or whatever, and just, you know... You know, be be ready for whatever comes your damn way, okay? So, anywho, let's move along. They at the thing called The Last Supper, and uh, Loyal Inc. is sitting there, and they chilling, they toasting it up and everything. Meanwhile, Ryan shows up with Nine Mag, or uh, well, really just him, because everybody else pretty much went home. And, um, you know, they get to talking, and, um... Ryan's like, I looked at all of y'all like y'all was family or whatnot, and pretty much what y'all did was y'all... You know, y'all betrayed me. And Charmaine like, okay, well, what's going on with us or whatever? Why we ain't cool or whatever? And, and you know, she's like, if me and Ashley can get over our shit, me and you can get over some shit or whatever. And damn, Ryan's like, you know, Charmaine, I ain't got no beef with you. I'm just, I just don't fuck with you like that. Just period, you know. And she's like, okay, was it over the whole Rachel situation? He like, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't understand that I was trying to choose my family, you know. And y'all automatically took cat side. And I'm like, you know, of course they're going to take cat side because cat they homegirl or whatnot. And Ryan, you know, at the same time, you should have been still giving them uh, explanation as to the reason why you did all the shit that you did, period. I'm just sorry or whatever because what you did was very unprofessional. And uh, even if you was taking your... Uh, your girlfriend's side or whatever, you still supposed to be a man about the situation and own up to your fucking fuck shit. Just period, okay? Period. So, um, dang on, um, 
So they, uh, Don's like, okay, you know, we here because we're trying to really reconcile this whole situation. And, and Ryan's like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all did this. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was there for me. Nobody. And I'm like, Ryan, you, you really a motherfucking narcissist or whatever. You a narcissistic motherfucker because everything comes back to you. You one of them type of people that are on up to your own motherfucking shit. And you got a lot of damn flaws with you and you just need to own up to it. I don't know why you can't. But you always like to make it seem like, I, 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 like you the fucking victim all the dang on time. Like, no, dude. These people just asking for a fucking apology for you or whatever. And an explanation is the reason why you really did what you did and why we couldn't work it out. Despite if you was dang on going to be with uh with Rachel or whatever and you weren't fucking with Christina. I mean, uh, uh with uh, Kat. I'm talking about Christina. <laughs> but, anywho, dang on, um... Dude's like, you know, Van's kind of like, dude, I just want an apology. That's it. You know, we can move on or whatever. And um, Ryan, at this point in time, he's just like, you know, dude, fuck y'all. I don't owe y'all shit. I don't owe y'all a motherfucking thing. And I'm just like, dude, like, that's fucked up. Van, like, okay, I'm glad that, you know, I'm glad that you say that because... Dude, if you would have gave an apology, it would have been half-assed, and I don't want no shit like that. I want some sincere apologies, uh, a, a sincere apology from people. Don, like, dude, don't act like, you know what I'm saying, we, like, you don't owe us shit, but, you know, if that's how it's going to be, that's how the, how the fuck it's going to be. I can't even talk. That's how the fuck it's going to be. So, Ryan's just like, look, you know, it is what it is. Fuck y'all. I, I, I don't owe y'all motherfuckers a damn thing. And that's just kind of how that whole thing ends. Everybody just kind of walks off and Ryan just kind of right there on a limb by himself or whatever as all the little vans and everything pull off. Um, Ryan, like I said, you've been a punk bitch this whole dang on season. I don't understand how you could be a business person and not dang on at least, and especially if you call these people your family, you would at least think that you would give them a nice explanation on a friendship level, on a family level. Even if you was not wanting to rehire them or you wanted to fire all of them, they would have been cool. They just wanted a, a nice little explanation from you. And you know, really an apology because they kind of moved on, but you couldn't even do that. That's how so much of a punk ass that your ass is. That you, you couldn't even do that. Like I say, Ryan, you know, Karma's a motherfucker, and that's really what this thing is about, karma, and uh, some shit gonna come to you. Anywho, next episode, dang on, Charmaine's trying to have a baby with Neek and everything. Ashley, she's getting a strip tease from Don. He done broke the damn thing. I seen that a few weeks ago on Instagram. And um, Reese is being accused by Cobra of stealing tattoo designs. So we're gonna get into everything this Wednesday. I love you all. You know, I was a little late, but I'm here, alright? Subscribe to the channel if you have not, alright? Hit subscribe. Subscribe, like, like, share, alright, bye, bye, bye. <laughs>